Good morning, children. Oh, karibu sana. My name is Kingsley, and I'm going to help you and take you through the service for today. I hope you've had a very wonderful week. The Lord has blessed you. So today's lesson, we are very excited. We prepared a dance for you. We have prepared lessons for you and a memory verse. My goodness, you're going to love it. So let's begin with a word of prayer. And after that, we are going to have a dance. I want you to get on your dancing shoes. And I want you to dance all your energy because you know what? You are dancing for God and you are praising him. So let's pray before we do that. Dear Lord, we thank you for keeping us safe and protected. And today we've come to worship you. Lord, may you, Lord, help us to hear what the teachers are going to teach us today in Jesus' name. So children, welcome. Let's have the dance. <laughs> Be exalted, O oh Lord, our God. Be exalted, O oh Lord, our God. Oh yes, you dance was good. We bless the Lord for that dance. Now children, we are going to our lesson. Our lesson today is the still small voice. Say it, the still small voice. And taking us through that lesson, children and boys and girls, is Teacher Boy. Welcome. Good morning, boys and girls. Teacher Boy here. I have missed you. Are you excited today as I am to listen to the word of God? Well, meanwhile, I do hope you've been keeping safe, 
washing hands, reading our Bibles every day, and praying. Speaking of prayer, are there times you pray for something and you wonder, why isn't God giving me what I wanted? Well, let's listen to today's story that comes from the book of 1 Kings chapter 19. And it's about God speaking to Elijah. Now, boys and girls, open your ears and let us listen to our little story. Now, King Ahab told everything Elijah had done to Queen Jezebel. Queen Jezebel was not very happy about hearing how the prophets of Baal were defeated and killed. She did not like Elijah and wanted to kill him. So once again, Prophet Elijah had to run to save himself. He then crossed the kingdom of, Be of Beersheba in Judah. He left his servant there and went to the desert to reach the wilderness. There he sat down under a juniper tree and prayed to God. He said, it is enough now, dear Lord. Take my life. I am no better than my ancestors. Praying so, he fell asleep. Just then, an angel of the Lord came and woke him up. Elijah, Elijah, wake up. You have some long way to go. Get up and eat. So Elijah woke up ate the baked cake, and drank the jug of water. Then he fell asleep again. But then the angel of the Lord woke him up again and said, Elijah, you must eat something. Your journey is very, very long. And after Elijah woke up and ate and drank again, he began his journey. He traveled for 40 days and 40 nights and reached Mount Sinai where God had first met Moses. There, God met him and said, Do not be afraid, Elijah. Return to Israel. There you shall meet Elisha, who will be the prophet after you. Elijah obeyed God, and he did meet Elisha, as God said he would. So boys and girls, what have we learned from that story? That when we pray, we must be patient because God will answer all our prayers at his time. Boys and girls, always remember that God answers our prayers. So as we say our prayers this week, boys and girls, let's say them with a lot of faith and wait patiently for what God has for us. I hope you enjoyed the story today. Have a lovely week, boys and girls, and I'll see you next time. Be blessed. Bye. My name is Malia Mudeti Akifuma, and our memory verse comes from the book of First Kings, chapter, chapter 18, verse 39, and it says, when the people saw this, they threw themselves on the ground and cried, The Lord is God. The Lord alone is God. First Kings chapter 18, verse 39. Thank you so much, Teacher Boy and Pastor Henry, for the wonderful lesson. Oh, we thank you, Jesus, because today we've learned to hear from God, that God even today speaks to us. So children, wherever you are, always ask God to speak to you. Always, when you have a, a decision you want to make, uh, you have homework that's too hard for you, or you, you know your parents are sick, or your parents are going through challenges and they've told you about it, you can be able to talk to God to speak to you so that you may know what to do. And so we want to finish our lesson with a word of prayer. 
So bow your head and let's pray. Dear Lord, we thank you so much for the lesson we've had. We are continuing to seek your face so that you may speak to us, O oh God. The challenges we have, even this COVID-19 that is messing and destroying lives, God, we ask that you will help us to know how to go about it. For it's in Jesus' name I believe and pray. Amen. And so that's it, children. We are very glad that you've joined for us today. And we can say again and again, please, Wear your mask, social distance, and please make sure you can even sanitize your hands when you touch things, and kindly take those things seriously because we are in a difficult time. So, boys and girls, make sure to do your homework. Now it's time for crafts. Your parents will help you. They will give you colors and a piece of paper. Kindly do that, and if you like it, if you have issues, you can please ask your parents. Thank you.